Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Grain. Today we're putting in a driveway drain in a gravel drive, and you can see we've already pulled back the top the top gravel because we're going to run a trench down through here with gravel perforated pipe to help collect the water that is pooling in this driveway and also washing out the gravel. So it comes down through here. Here we run a lateral across. We'll put another lateral down there so that as that water comes across that section there, it drops into the gravel perforated pipe, comes over here on the other side of the bushes, and we'll go all the way out to the street for the discharge. This homeowner had so many estimates ranging anywhere from five to 14,000 to try to solve this problem. And it really isn't that hard of a problem to solve. But as you watch the video, you might say, well, I think I'd rather pay somebody to do this. You can kind of see what's been happening here. Water has been flooding all through this area in front of the house, standing two and three inches deep. So we need a French drain to run through this area to collect that water. In addition, during a big rain, this driveway becomes a river and it pulls the gravel down and all the way out to the street. So if we install an open French drain called a trench drain, two laterals across the drive, as that water comes down this hill, it will drop through the gravel into our pipe and can be carried away on the other side of the bushes. So it's kind of like a regular channel drain. As that water comes across the hill, down the hill, it drops through the gravel into the pipe and it is carried away. I know I make things sound easy, but sometimes jobs are difficult. Here we found a layer of concrete underneath of the gravel. But if Chuck can start a hole, I can get the trencher in here and cut this apart. Well, then make it bigger. So I can, I get, if I can get the trencher down in there, I might be able to rip it up. Remember earlier I said, this is an easy project that you could do yourself, but after you watch the video, you might change your mind. So you can see it takes a lot of work to bust down through that concrete, but after that, I could get the trencher in there and look what the trencher can do. So we started trenching and we found a layer of concrete, of course, underneath this gravel, but we're able to make some progress through here as you can see. We'll come back and clean that trench out. We'll be ready to lay our pipe. The trencher is doing a fine job of slowly digging through that concrete. Once we've completed the trench, we'll remove all of that excess soil, gravel, and concrete so we have a smooth surface to put that top base of gravel back and cover the driveway when we're finished. So here we've got a no hub bringing the driveway drain over adapting to the four inch and corrugated adapting to the PVC. Difficult little spot. So here we have our perforated pipe. You can see the holes. They're gonna point down in this trench. We'll fill that with gravel and as the water, as the water comes down this hill, it'll drop into our gravel into the perforated pipe and it'll get carried away over to the main line. So you can see we're back filling the trench with gravel. We've got our perforated pipe down there, holes pointing down, a little base of gravel underneath. And again, as water comes down this hill, it'll drop into this trench and will be carried away via the discharge. Here's our completed drain. You can see we've got it back filled with the top gravel, catch basin. Catch basin starts the line. Line runs right along this wall, all the way around here. Pretty tough little install, but if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. And here's the discharge coming over. You can see the trench on this side going down the hill. Another gravel drain is right down here. It actually starts right here by my boot runs across and you can see the trench. We still need to backfill that trench. Line goes out and all the way down to the street.
Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Dreams, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. This job had concrete underneath of the drive, and you know, you just have to believe. That's all I can tell you. You can do it. Have a great day.